Are you still manually removing the first or the last characters from text strings within Excel? Stop this madness and learn how to automate your job. This will take just minutes instead of hours. Hi, my name is Louisa Koning. I have over 10 years of experience within Excel and I teach it to college students. Let me teach you how to remove the first or the last characters from text within Excel in an automated way. So in this case, we have a list of names of which we want to remove the first two characters from every name. Now, of course, we could do this manually, but that's going to be very, very tedious. Let me show you an automated way to do this. Now, you might be familiar with the functions left and right. What they allow us to do is to take part of a larger piece of text within Excel. So we type equal sign right. Then we open the parentheses. And so what the write function will do is it will take in as input a piece of text, such as the name here, that will be the first argument. And then it will extract a number of characters from this piece of text, starting from the right hand side. So in this case, if I type comma four, it will take four characters from Robert from the right. So I close the parentheses, press enter. And as you can see, in return, we get Bert, the last four characters of the name Robert. Now the problem is if I now pull this down, this function will always take four characters from the right hand side, but that's not really our objective. Our objective is to remove the first two characters of our name. So the result should be variable, right? So in this case with John, I only, only want the H and the N. With David, I only want vid, vid return, right? So it needs to be more dynamic. And so what's the issue here? That's the four, the second argument of the right function that we hard coded. We want to make that dynamic. And so to do that, we need to make use of another function, which is the len function. So write equal sign len, open the parentheses. And what the len function does is it returns the number of characters that a piece of text contains. So I input Robert, I close the parentheses and out comes six. And now if we do this for every single name, you can see we get a variable number because of course, every name has a variable number of characters. So now we can use this to make our function more dynamic. So we no longer want to input the four inside of the right function. Instead, we want to manually adapt this for taking into consideration the length of the name. And so how we should do this is we take the length and we subtract from that the number of characters we wish to keep. So in our case, that's two. So I do in this case, six minus two, I press enter. You can see we get four and now I pull this down. And so here you can see the number we need to take from the right hand side. So we always remove two characters from our name. Okay. Now let's put this all together. So let's remove everything here and let's write it. So we have write. Okay. Once again, the first argument is still the name or the text of which you want to remove the first characters. Then you put a comma to go into the next argument. And so normally here we put four, but right, that was hard coded. We don't like that. So we want to make it dynamic. And so instead, what we are going to do is we type in len. And so what len will do is it will take the number of characters the name contains. So I once again, click on a one because you only need one argument to the len function. It's a text of which you want to know how many characters it has. So in our case, a name, I close the parentheses. And now from this, I subtract the number of characters I want to remove from uh, the beginning. In our case, two. So I put two, I close the parentheses, I press enter. As you can see, once again, we get bird. But the advantage is that it now works across our entire data set, saving us hours of work. And so you can see for John, we get H and N for David, we get vid, right? We're always removing the first two characters. That is exactly what we wanted. Now you could even make this more dynamic. Let me show you. So I press control Z to go back. And so instead of hard coding the two here, meaning we always want to remove the two first characters. Now, instead here in cell D1, I will write the number of characters I want to remove from the front of my text. So let's start with two, like we had before. And now instead of hard coding this two here, I will remove the two and instead I will be referencing D1. If I now press enter, we get exactly the same result. However, if we now pull this down, we will get an error. So I'll show you, we are just getting the entire names. Now, if we take a look at the formula itself and we click on it, we can see that we're referencing here cell D3 that doesn't contain anything. That's because Excel is automatically shifting down our cell references. So what we want to do is for this cell D3, we want to fixate it on D1, indicating the number of characters we wish to take from the beginning. So I go to my first cell here and where we're referencing D1, 
I want to put a dollar sign in front of the letter and the number. This will completely fixate the reference and always reference exactly D1. It will not be shifting down like we're seeing right now. One shortcut to do this is to press F4 and this will automatically put a dollar sign in front of the letter and the number. So let's press enter and now pull this down. And as you can see, here we get the nice result of always removing two characters from the front. If we take a look at the formula, you can see that it now still references D1 and the reference of D1 has not shifted down. Now, what is the advantage of this approach? Well, now it's very dynamic. Let's say I want to remove the first three characters from my text. I simply change this to two a three and everything updates automatically. Wow, this is insane. If I press one, you can see we remove the first character from every text. Now we can do the same thing really, but for the last number of characters. So for that, we will have to use the left function, right? Because then we are taking characters from the left hand side of our text. So use the left function. It works in exactly the same way as how the right function works. So once again, we provided the text and then we have to say how many characters we wish to keep from the left hand side. Once again, this needs to be dynamic. So we are going to be using the len function. So we write len and we take the number of characters our text has. And so from this, we subtract the number of characters we want to remove at the end. And so remember, we had this number here in D1. So I'll simply uh, select D1. And of course, be sure to completely fixate that reference. So putting dollar signs in front of the letters and the numbers or use the shortcut F4 and then closing down my parentheses. I press enter and now I can pull this down. And as you can see in every row, we are removing the last character. And now simply by updating this one value here, let's say three, notice how we're removing the last three characters here. And really this number could be anything you want. So you can see this is a huge time saver. And so you can both remove the first characters of a piece of text within Excel or remove the last number of characters of a piece of text in Excel. Thanks for subscribing and leaving an optional tip. Consider watching this video next.